everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We've got a very special house tour today. We're in Boca Grove here in Boca Raton, Florida, and wow, it is a beautiful day. This house is on a double lot totaling just over 20,000 square feet. It features an office, theater room, private elevator, lake and golf views. You have a full house generator. On top of all of that, you have a three bedroom guest house. So you got 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, 10,000 interior square footage, 12,000 total. Like I said, it was built in 2021 and it's asking just under $6 million. I just wanna give a quick shout out to the listing agents for allowing us to do this tour. So on that note, let's just continue on and go get started. One, two, three entrances to the driveway, two roundabouts. I think it's the first time I've ever seen two roundabouts ever. And just like if you're hosting parties, especially in neighborhoods where it's gated and there's not much space to park, you basically have all the parking space you need right here. There's garage entrances on all sides. It's pretty spectacular. And then here you almost have like an open courtyard because you have these balconies overlooking into the driveway. Look at these pillars. You have the steps, the pillars. There's marble out here. This place is, it feels like a work of art. It only gets better as you go inside. And as you can see behind me, I'm, I'm not really small. These, when, these doors are just really big. This is 12 foot high front doors and then all the windows throughout the property are 10 feet high. You just got these exquisite entrances and all that natural light is just breaking its way through the windows. It's incredible and we just walked in. On the floor, as you see, well, you'll see a little munchkin, a little cute little, oh my gosh, the cutest dog I've ever seen, but his little pitter patter is on solid walnut floors. And as you can see, they're, they're puppy approved into the main living room. This is your sit down, no TVs allowed, just enjoying the views, that beautiful pool, the golf. It's just a place to hang out, talk to some people. As soon as you come in, fireplace if you wanna get things a little smoky. I know in Florida it gets really cold, so you got that fireplace to warm up. And then the light fixtures, they just match the room that they're in. And so let's actually go this way, take a look at the master bedroom. And the thing I like most about this master bedroom is that it has secrets and surprises. That, I, would, I almost stepped on it because I almost couldn't see it. The master bedroom has a place where you can just sit, look out on the water. It's got that beautiful three slider door, course hurricane impact for those hurricane seasons. When we look at this side, you have the bedroom over here with the bed laid out. And then you have one of the closets behind me. And this closet, all the closets are huge, but look at the size of it. It's like a department store warehouse. It's got you know, she's gonna love this one, is what I'm trying to say. He or she is gonna be head over heels for this closet, and this closet isn't even the one that is super special and, and surprising. If you come down on this side, in here, you have the walk-in closet, right? Right, you just, Jason, what's so special? I thought this was closet was crazy. I thought it had all the... We're sneaking back here, because it's a surprise. Boom, I mean, Workshop, hidden gun layer. This is this is this is home base. I have never seen this inside of a closet. It's super cool, and it's got all this bookshelf storage, nice little computer desk area, and the windows going all the way around. And you don't get that closet feel because of the windows, so it's really nice. Let's cut back in. Take a look at the bathrooms. You have the his and hers on one side. We'll take a look. I'm just assuming this is hers because it's bigger. But you come in. I love the finish in here. I love how it's white with a blue white grout tile, it just, it feels really beach blue and happy, I don't know, I feel really great about it. All this counter space, a huge mirror going across, soak and tub, and look how elegant this is. It's like a mid-century modern piece of furniture. I would watch TV in that thing, but it's a bathtub, unfortunately. And then look at the size of the walk-in shower. A seat on this side, I don't even know how the water reaches over here, but there's a seat over there when you're tired, and a huge window overlooking. It's just, this shower is built for four people, but it can also occupy one happy person. And then on the other side, you have his, a little bit more masculine and the colors, gray, darker tile. He doesn't need all the bells and whistles. He just needs that walk-in shower, rain head, typical. So let's cut back in here, head to the living room. Coming through here, just past these pillars to take us into the dining room. The thing I love most about this dining room is the amount of space you have. It's a grand entrance. It's got a sh like cathedral high ceilings. That's the only way to describe it, cathedral. I feel like I'm in a, the Vatican almost. Where's the mural in the ceiling? That's all it's missing is a mural in the ceiling. But at the top, it's got that community space where everyone walks around to get to the different bedrooms. You know, you're sitting here having dinner, getting a little thirsty. The kitchen's so far away, you're gonna walk away to the kitchen. No, you're not. 
got a bar right over here. I'm sure you can see it. And it's got that glowing onyx purple light inside. And that's, that's just really cool. And I just imagine it's night, all the lights are turned on, you're having drinks and boom, pull out the Hennessy and Coke, the best drink ever invented. Only until recently, I discovered that Hennessy and coconut water is my favorite, my new favorite drink. So try that and think of me when you drink it. I mean, you got all the storage, wine bottle storage, bottle storage. I mean, this is, this is all you need in a house. You don't even need bedrooms, you just need a bar and they got it. So from here, and I think I actually skipped something really quick. To get to the second floor, there's an elevator. I know I mentioned that at the beginning, but look, it's right here. Elevator to get to the second floor. So walking down, here you have the puppy section. And I wanted to point this out because I love that dog so much, but if you have a dog, it's a great place to put it. You got a little bowl of food and a little sitting area, cool. But for the humans, in the human side, you've got the TV room, living room, and the space here hasn't even been like fully used. You can still fit so much more in here. So you have the little curved couch with the TV on this wall, but like what's over here? Me, personally, I'm probably making the living room even bigger. You can, first of all, the island, this is an insane size. Besides this, this like six by six square, you have that long part over there. All this cabinetry, sink. What do we got? Mila, gas stove top with a wolf vent above. Another island on this side. Look how it fits in here so perfectly. You could actually get a smaller table or a bigger table and it would fit just as nicely. Light fixture above, which is magnificent. And a nice little, you could put all your knickknacks in here, your fine china, your things you've seen when you traveled. Really, it all fits just so nicely over there. Around the second island, here's where you have your microwave, Mila, of course, built in, dual fridge and freezer. So this kitchen is just like looking back on it. Got the LED lights at the tops as accents. It's just a really great space for entertaining, for a big family, pretty much everyone will be happy here. But coming down into here, you had that kitchen for the family. Here, you have the butler's kitchen pantry. So you got a place to cook over here with a stovetop, microwave, fridge, freezer, dual ovens, and laundry. Very nice. But one thing I wanna show you is this guest house. So this guest house has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, but before we go in there, I'm sorry I need to do this, I'm gonna throw an ad right here. So anyway, let's go take a look at the guest house upstairs. And right away, one thing that catches my eye, there's a kitchen in the guest house, of course. This might have a run for its money against some people's main living kitchens. This is insane. This is like a townhouse on your property. Three bedroom, three bathroom. I've sold a few three bedroom, three bathrooms before. Excuse me, the furniture. Like I said, the owner's in the process of moving around, so things might just be misplaced, but let me try to paint the picture for you. Right here, you have your massive TV. Or back against this back wall, couch, watching the TV. Table in the middle, bar stools by the kitchen. It's really nice. And on top of that, like I said, you get three bedrooms. So in here, we have the bedroom number one. This one has the balcony that looks out onto the driveway. And then you have the same kind of design bathroom in here. A lot of the features are missing because it's still in the process of being built. This house is built in 2021, like I said. So some of the features like the doors are missing and whatnot, but coming in, this is one of the guest bedrooms up here. This is number two. Got the bed in the corner, a balcony, literally overlooking the front of your driveway. I can see the lake as well from here. And then the bathroom on this side. And then here you have the last and final guest bedroom up here. Look at this. We'll take a look at this balcony more thoroughly. No, no, wow. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This bathroom is insane in a good way. Come look at this. I'll take you to the candy shop. Boom, look at this. This is, I don't know what it is about bathrooms with this much character to me. I think that's where you are supposed to execute all your character in the bathrooms. Notice the matching floor with the matching wall, polka dots. I mean, this is insane. And back to what I was saying earlier, let's take a look at the balcony out here looking out into your courtyard style driveway. So from here, let's cut back downstairs, finish up the first floor, and then we'll take you up to the second part of the main property. Let's go. So now that I showed you the three bedroom, three bathroom guest house, let's cut down here and take a look at the second floor of this property. But before I do, half bathroom, onyx style LED, as you did at the bar over there. The sink is elegantly slanted. The faucet has wings. Beautiful. Even the doors have a finesse that I have never seen with these little frosted windows. It's, it's a great, great feature. But like I said, it's time to get to that second floor. So let's walk over here. 
just coming on up. Nice, easy going staircase. Look how wide it is too. Super wide. You have two bedrooms on this side. We'll start with this one. And you know, they're in the process of moving out. So things are kind of all over the place, but this would be, as you can see by the equipment, a really good gym. But I want to show you the bathrooms. The bathrooms have this finish that I just really like. Look at this. It's like literally like a museum. It's yeah. beautiful. On this side. And this room, look at the shape of this. It's got that crazy point design, two windows on each side. This space in here is just really interesting. I kind of like this. I would probably put like my desk and office in that corner, kind of push it to the side. But the bathroom, got that raised sink, the finish, the difference on the floor with the little strip going. And then that strip is the floor, the shower with like a thick brick style. And it's just really nice. We're gonna walk down. Got the, what is that? Oh, so it's like a movie room. Yeah, it's, it feels like it has that sound feature for the movie. So next to the bedroom, I would say this is like a media room. It did say that there was a media, so this is probably it. You put the chairs, I think you put all the equipment for the studio right in here, a couple chairs, and then TV on that wall. Pretty cool to have upstairs. This is really good for the kids. If you want just like a viewing room or a video game room, honestly, I wish I had one when I was growing up, but uh, my kids will have one. Coming out from here, just looking back on the stairs when you came up, that three, that four pan glass window with that light fixture, just like, it's like a really good bite. Just tastes really good. And walking across, looking over the whole bottom floor, that's where I would say the dining room was. It's just really, you could feel the presence in here. Like I said, it's like a cathedral. And then you have upstairs laundry in here. So you don't have to get in the elevator with all that clothes. It's so tiring. You just got the laundry room in here. And this is where the elevator takes you up. Really cool, convenient. And then boom, like an upstairs loft. They've made it more like a game style kind of room. You got a pool table. This is shuffleboard, I'm pretty sure. I've actually never seen a table like this. Oh, oh, I didn't know it was so soft like that. It's, I barely even touched that, look. But right out here, wow, look at this window real quick. Wow, you have like a movie screen of the whole presence of this neighborhood, the pool, the lake, the golf, amazing. Balcony alert, someone called the balcony police. Coming on out, boom, look at, look at this. So besides all the space you had downstairs, you have this outdoor paradise. Basically, you know, the kids are having the party downstairs, you come up here and hang out, or you know what, you own the house. Forget the kids, the kids are up here and you're downstairs, but either way, everyone has their own spot. Tons of places, outlets for the TV, water, you can put an outdoor bar here. I mean, it's really endless, but I just love how you can see the whole lake, people playing golf in the distance. It's just really peaceful. I, if I lived here, I would just tan out here every day, honestly. It's, it's a great spot. And even just the final design at the top, look at that. It's a beautiful design to have up there. Amazing. Further down, this is the entrance where we originally walked in over here. Even, I mean, just the detail of this, the windows looking out so when you're walking across, more natural light, you can see the neighbors. I love that right here. And then behind me, guest bedroom. Another really cool thing I like about this house is every room, the layout, it's not like when you go into modern new construction houses in Miami, everything is the same. Like we walked into one of the rooms, it was pointy. We walked into another room, it was like a different shape. This one, you walk in and it's just like, it feels like a completely different house. You have a closet on this side, the bathroom's over here, the windows are right here overlooking the pool. It's, just, it's so cool. I love the way they did this. And then let's take a look at this bathroom. Oh my God. It's like, are we in a museum? I love this. Some people might not like it. Me, big fan. It's very soothing. Just the color, it's, the color tones are all very... No, you want to talk about soothing? Besides this mirror, besides this thing, let me show you soothing. When you take a shower in here, can you just take a, take a video of me doing this? Oh my God. Is, is this not the most soothing looking thing? This might have to be the thumbnail. I don't even know. The insert picture? I don't know. This is so cool. So we're going to take a look at the final guest bedroom. This is actually a master suite. There's one right under it, but you also have this one up here. If you have two people that need master suites, this is great for the in-laws. Honestly, get your room downstairs and their room up here, but wow. Let's start off with the closet. Walk-in closet, and when I say walk-in, I don't use that term lightly unless I can physically walk in. Tall island, this is good for Alex, because he's 6'4". Uh, actually... This is perfect for you. When we come out of here, there's one thing that caught my eye real quick. Look at this shower. <laughs> what? Look at this. This, <clears throat> this is crazy. This is so much space, and then you have a skylight. This is, an, I feel like I'm in a, 
a part of a church, like a cathedral, again, like just like the living room. Imagine if it's a rainy day and you're just staring at the rain caress you in your shower. These, these little giraffes, I love the design of everything, the toilet, there's so much space. And then how could I not mention this? Look at the size of the shower. Oh my God. It's a huge half sphere. Are you kidding me? This thing is massive. This is insane. I love this bathroom. This, so you literally have exactly a master suite on the second floor as you did in the first floor. Now that I showed you the 10,000 square feet inside this house, let me show you the extra 2,000 square feet outside. Follow me. So we just stepped outside. It's time to show you the final part of this house, which is the backyard pool area. In my opinion, it's probably one of the biggest appeals about this property. It's just the lot itself. Like I said, you're on a double lot. I feel like if this was a regular sized lot, just the pool area would be the property, but instead you get this whole other side. So outdoor dining, sitting, hanging out room. This is actually right under where the balcony above us was and it overlooks the water. It's really cool. The breeze coming in here is just perfect. You can, I'm sure you can almost hear it. The trees, they're just flowing. And then right behind me, a little bit more entertaining space. If you want to do like a ping pong outdoor pool, I can see myself with a couple outdoor couches here. I'm not much of a table tennis kind of guy. And then down here, I just want to show you the entrance to the guest house. So like I said, you can access it from the outside. When you walk down over here, it's a little work being done, but just around that, just around that side of the house, you can access the guest house that way. And a little bit more space out here to sit down, hang out. And they're actually installing an outdoor kitchen area. We'll take a look at that really quick, not to disturb them. Yep, so this is where it'll go. It'll extend out to here, and then you have the access to the guest house just down over there. Let's take the stepping stones. We don't need to go back on the, in the under the patio. Take these beautiful stepping stones, and just look at this like, is this like a scene into a movie? Look at the entrance when you're walking up, boom. The pool, the space out here, if you like to host parties, you have that driveway, and now you have the backyard to fit your guest. Endless space out here. The pool has got that nice step down stair kind of look. Got these fountains on both ends. The hot tub placed perfectly in the center. More lounging space. And even between the tiles on the floor, you have trees, pebble stones. It's just like a tropical resort out here. They just have two over there. You can obviously put like 10 just lounger chairs. I just feel like I want to lay down, let all my problems tan away. So then we'll come over to the last section of outside and we'll just come to this end. Over here, what do you do here? I don't know, maybe maybe built like a cabana style. You can do it, you're, let your imagination run wild. But my favorite part about it is just the peace. You got all these trees around you, just sound of nature, honestly. And then I look down this way and I have the open lake and the beautiful landscaping that goes all the way down on that end. And this is actually where I'd like to end this video. So this is your first time watching my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We see it all. We see houses in Boca, penthouses in Miami, sometimes out of the state, sometimes out of the country, as soon as we get those borders open. So on that note, don't forget to check out the music. If you enjoyed it, the link will be down below. All the equipment, like this Rode Wireless Go that you can now get for $2.99. Don't forget to check it out in the description if you'd like to purchase one for yourself, start your own vlog. On that note, all right. This is golfers drive away. We're gonna drive away. It's time to go get some food. Let's go, Alex.